Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I've done an update video on any of the stuff that's been going on. Life's been crazy and uh, I've been moving up. I know I'm wearing, you know, a lot nicer clothes than you normally see in my videos, but this is, uh, it's Sunday. I've already washed the cars and I figure I'd give y'all an update on what's been going on in the Moore Project world. So, all of you that love the CF hatch that I have, that I've been doing some updates on, so, this is what I've done here recently. I have upgraded the wheels to some 15 by seven circuit performance uh, with some Toyo proxies on there. They are a uh, seven inch wide plus 35 offset. I got them for about 400 bucks and the tires were about 200. So you can look at getting a set of wheels like this for about 600 bucks. And I had to do no fender rolling I have no scrubbing, no fitment issues, nothing whatsoever. All right, on top of swapping out the wheels, I've made a custom front grille that I've actually plastic welded into place. So I actually had to cut and uh, I bought this material on eBay and uh, made a custom grill for it. So this actually is plastic welded. It's not going anywhere. All right, so the back window was a bust, so I just peeled it completely back off. But I'm gonna get somebody to professionally do that one myself. Now, I added a eBay rear wing, uh, like a Jay's uh, racing style. I actually um, have it just super glued up here, and I had to put a piece of metal in here because it was, it was kind of, I mean, it still dipped down just a little bit, but now it's a lot straighter with the piece of metal that I put into place. I actually notched it underneath uh, for my third brake light because I actually have this where it blinks and you can see where I screwed it into place on the bottom. So I thought that was a pretty sweet little touch I added. You can also see that I've swapped out the smoke corners for the ambers. All right, so, all right, so if we come inside, I have updated the interior to the CRX seats, as you can tell in the seat pan swap video I'm gonna post right here above us. And I put the CRX dash in the EF hatch. So I'm gonna hopefully put a video up of showing you how to do the CRX dash swap. Um, I've got the gauge pod painted black. I put my boost gauge and air fuel ratio gauge that I used to have down here. I moved it when I did the dash swap, I moved it up here. I've got an adjustable K-tuned uh, shifter and a K-tune shift knob that I've just I've just put in. I painted the carpet black with the with the duplicolor um, paint, so it gave it that look. The headliner, if you can tell, I've got red suede headliner now in here, and with that same material. I made a armrest cover, rewrapped it with some new foam in there. So I like that. Made me a little e-brake cover and I got me a new e-brake handle. So I thought that was a nice little finishing touches for this. So back here, I've actually painted, I had some EG rear seats that I found in the junkyard. I cleaned them and painted the middles red and the outside and the middles black right here. So I did actually do that. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. It actually turned out really well. I mean, it's got kind of a rough texture from that vinyl paint, but nobody's gonna be sitting back here, but I really do like the look of it in the car. Also, underneath both of the seats, I added amps. Now I know I got a bunch of stuff piled up back here, but 
if you look underneath the seats i actually have an amplifier mounted an amp under both seats so i got those powering the door speakers actually i think this one's powering the subwoofers and this side is powering the door speakers now in the doors i've upgraded to scar audio and i've got me a, a little truck box back here with an infinity old school sub so in the trunk i've got the rear um, battery relocation and so I've actually took a quarter 20 threaded rod and bend it at the bottom and uh, I bought this like on eBay for like six bucks and so I actually made my own um, hold downs and so I've actually got a circuit breaker I put in so that uh, just in case something happens it'll trip this um, but this is for the battery relocation. Like I said, I upgraded to SCAR Audio. So I've actually got a SCAR Audio subwoofer and, and a SCAR Audio box. I think it's actually got SCAR, yeah. It's actually a pretty sweet box. So I thought that was awesome. And if you look up here, I now have the rear speaker pods. And I had to space them out because these speakers are so huge. But I've got SCAR rear speakers back here. And it sounds amazing. I'm a big fan of these SCAR, SCAR audio and what they put out. So yeah, so I've done a bunch of updates. So in the bodywork video, I haven't painted this yet, but I've actually got a red Fireball Pearl paint to paint this entire car. Now I haven't done it yet. I got to still finish up a little bit more of the bodywork. I haven't done the rust repair yet. So there's rust down here on the bottom corners, uh, the quarters that I need to, um, on the rockers, I got to swap that or fix that on both sides. Most of the body work was done. I just kind of just took some Duplicolor Red, Apple Red paint, like I did the, uh, the engine bay. And I just kind of just touched up the paint just so it didn't look so much like a project. As you can see on both sides, I mean, I've got a little bit of overspray, but it looks better than it did. And I don't know if I've done a whole bunch of update under the, uh, the hood, since the last video, but I know I did swap out the full size radiator for a half size radiator. And I took two of the fans, I've used one as a, a pusher and one pulling. And I found a um, EK uh, filler and bracket and everything. So instead of having the other one that was way over here, when I went to this half size, I just put this um, smaller one over on this side. And as you can tell, the bay has actually been resprayed um, with just Duplicolor Apple Red. So I taped everything up and scuffed everything up real good and painted it all Apple Red. And here's my little junction block that I used to do my battery relocation. So basically, you have one for your ECU, one for your alternator, one for your starter, and then this goes all the way back to the battery. And then in line i have a circuit breaker um and then it goes to the battery and i just put a ground back in the back so that's how you do your battery relocation swap all right so the future updates of the videos for the civic hatch uh i've got to paint it i've got a full turbo swap with a top mount manifold so like i said before i'm going to turbo this car and uh i've got our, already got everything as you can tell to turbo it with um, I just gotta have the time to do it. And uh, I just don't wanna mess my car with it right now since right now it's driving just fine. Um, I'm actually going to uh, just show you that I've got all the parts from the piping to the um, exhaust that I'm actually gonna do with a V-band. Um, all the gaskets, the intercooler, of course, where with the channel name. Got a top mount manifold cast. Uh, got another uh, clutch all my gaskets um, this is an actual tile 
wastegate that I bought used on eBay. I got a off-brand HKS um, style blow-off valve, but I think that'll be okay. Uh, I got a Max Peating Rods uh, turbo, so that's going to be pretty sweet. Um, and then, of course, you can see I've got the upgraded injectors, all the clips, um, the drain line, feed hoses, some extra silicone vacuum lines, a wall boro, 255 uh, fuel pump, my base map tune, and all the red intercooler piping. Um, I wanted to keep it red so it would match the interior um, and the base so it kind of looks more sleek looking. So it's going to be pretty sweet. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for that. And I also got paint coming in the near future. So just something to look forward to. But anyway, let's get back to this. Our 1320 uh, traction bar for the front of this thing and a few other little goodies. I got to finish getting the windows tinted. But uh, that's uh, gonna be the next updates for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it and um, tell me what you think about this car since I've updated the, from the previous video. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, more projects. Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change, and I feel that you mean it.